Okay. So this session is designed to give you the skill and understanding that will empower you to free yourself from getting entangled in painful emotions and create an inner balance and be the human person you are born to be. So in order to understand all this, first I have to know what this is. Okay? Now, Okay. Okay. So basically, what is mindfulness that we are talking about? So it's basically tuning into what's going on in the mind and body. It's about being attentive to the content or the data we carry in our minds. And it's about being aware of the changes in the body. Okay, the, the different chemical changes in the body. So we are going to touch on that. And this is another aspect of mindfulness. It gives us control of any emotions and stressful situations and brings us into balance, in a balance. Okay. Now, the key words, very, very important in a mindfulness session is aware, okay? And I want you to take down what this means. It's a conscious knowing or it's an experience of a particular thing and knowing that it exists. So basically, it's a conscious knowing. Okay, this is it. I know this is happening to me. Okay. And attentive is a lot of things put together. Okay. It's being alert. It's being interested. It's being committed. It, it means to be wide awake. It means to be focused. So when we say attention, it means all of this together. Okay. So in mindfulness, in mindfulness, these are the key words we have to uh, uh, be very uh, uh, attuned to. And another word is observe. Okay, watching carefully the way something happens. Okay. Now, another most important thing we have is what is mind, okay? Mind is nothing but a capacity for information. Where information is received, is processed and stored, okay? Did you know what the mind was before we, I gave you this definition? Girls? Did you know what mind was? Seema? Um, yeah, that, uh, it's the thinking, uh, thinking machine, I would say. No, it's not a machine. Your, think, your, your machine is your brain. But mind is not a machine. Mind is simply a capacity we carry. It is a capacity where information, we receive information. So it's a capacity where we hold it. Okay? Um, any, any kind of information and every information is what we call mind. Okay? So this is very important. And then we come to the, to the body aspect. Okay? Now, what do we, what does this body comprise of? Priyanka, what does this body comprise of? Like, body comprises of... Uh, what, is, what is this body made up of? 
intestines and everything cells tissues yes, and blood. yeah blood yes and blood basically ha huh. okay asima can you tell me further yes priyanka you are right i'll see um, what i've read again uh, it's it consists of these five i, I want to, i want to now i'm dealing with sima okay i'm not dealing with what i've read i'm dealing with sima so sima look at your body what is his body made up of just look at it look at me what am i made up of what can you see i sensory organs so when when i say what am i made up of first thing is my five senses come out okay so basically this body is comprised of externally eyes ears nose tongue hands fingers okay skin legs toes hair head so it is very important to know this person first before i deal with another person i have to know this person first okay so in order to understand this person first i have to know what is this person made up of so let us look at the physical aspect <clears throat> so let us take the five sensory organs okay my eyes my ears my nose my tongue my hands okay now this is very important because i receive information through my five senses okay what i see what i hear what i taste what i smell what i touch so i receive information from these five senses is that correct do you do that seema do you do that do you receive yeah. information through seeing yes. when reading you're receiving through your eyes aren't you yeah but the meaning is given the meaning comes afterwards but what comes first is reading mm -hmm. correct so i receive information through these five bodily senses correct mm -hmm. making sense yeah good now there's also another way of receiving information okay which you and i aren't aware of this happens with the capacity that we carry which is our mind we attract information because we are oh this session is going to end in 10 minutes it says okay so we'll have to come back am i making sense to you shalu am i making sense okay shalu your mute Yeah, Shalu is mute. Yeah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Shalu, it's a bit different because it's the age group. Okay. Okay. Um. So, I want you to understand is first thing is we have this body where with our five senses, bodily senses, we we take in information. Okay. And. there's another way of taking on information is just because we possess the capacity for information we are constantly receiving it without we being aware am i making sense yes yeah. am i making sense yeah because we have this capacity for for receiving information which we call the mind we are constantly 
processing, receiving, storing information without being conscious. Okay? So, what it is that the mind and the body does to us, conscious beings, that affects our way of life, okay, as human beings, okay? So, what we receive, when I say what we receive is information, the information is stored in our brains, okay? Our brain is a network, okay? Our brain is a network of information. So mind is the capacity, know the difference. Mind is the capacity. The mind is not the brain. Mind is a capacity for information. But the brain is where the information is stored and is processed and is received by the body. Okay, this is key for us to know. Now, what happens when we find ourselves reacting to situations? We feel down, we feel anxious, we feel sad, we feel angry, we feel hatred, we feel jealous, we feel all the negative emotions. The same thing, I feel happy, I feel content, I feel peaceful, I feel serene. Who is experiencing all this? This body. On. Okay. The body experiences all this. Okay, the different emotions that we are experiencing is this body and mind united. Okay, and who is observing that? Oh, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling that. Who is observing that? Mind. Mind. Consciousness. Consciousness. This is who we are. Mm -hmm. This is who we are. Another word for consciousness is, is a soul. Okay? So be careful. Do not associate you, conscious being, to your emotions. I am not my emotions. I am not who, what I feel. What I feel is, is, a, is a working, is the outcome of mind-body interaction. So what information I carry and the body that I am I'm, 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 I'm also carrying, so the information and my body meeting and creating an outcome, okay? So say for example, um, Shalu said to me, I hate you, okay? What is the information that I received? What is the information that I received? The words that Shalu said to me, I hate you. Correct? Yeah. So my mind has received what information? Negative information. I hate you. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when we hear any negative information, does it remain as information? No. It acts, the body immediately acts because we are, in, we are interconnected. Okay? So when the negative information is received, what the body feels? Will the body feel neg positive or negative? Negative. 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 And what is, a negative feel, what is a negative aspect that we call in, in our body when we experience that negative information? 
anger. I can also, when she says hate me, then I can also say, okay, I hate you. And I kind of just kind of brush over and pass her by. So what am I, what am I experiencing in my body? Hatred and unpleasant emotions. I know. So what kind of information I carry is how my body will behave. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay. Are you with me? And as I'm talking, I want you to observe, you know, what I'm saying, and I want you to apply it to yourself. Are you able to do that? Good. So yeah. whatever, now I think in a few minutes, this will go off, I think. Okay. Um, so we'll yeah. join from the same link. Uh, rejoin okay. The okay. Okay. So, so basically, the information I carry in my mind, my body will react to that information. Okay. And if it is a negative information, my experience, my emotions will be negative. And what is an emotion? Is absolutely nothing but the, the electrons in the brain, the network, the, the, the nervous system, which is, uh, which is uh, electronic, come in contact with the chemicals of the body. Okay, the electrons come in contact with the with the chemicals in the body, and the co the the uh, the the result of that is an emotion, be it positive, be it negative. Okay, so the key to our lives is basically what information am I holding? That is key. Okay, that is key to our living. A good, better, wise life on the planet. So mindfulness is simply being aware, being observing, being attentive to what my mind is carrying right now. Right now, this moment. Okay? And at this moment, what my mind is carrying, it will have a consequence. It will have a reaction to my body and according to that, I will feel good or I will not feel good. 